Let's see what we can make using some old newspapers that are ready to be recycled. First, we're using a page of newspaper to make this pinwheel that turns around in the wind. You will need a page of newspaper, a ruler, a pencil with a rubber eraser at the top, scissors for your grown-up to use, and a drawing pin. Cut your page of newspaper into a square and use a ruler to draw two straight lines diagonally across the newspaper. Measure seven centimetres from each corner to the centre and mark it with a pencil. Get your grown-up to cut the newspaper back along the diagonal line until you reach the seven centimetre mark. You now have four triangles. We're now going to use the drawing pin to make holes in the newspaper. Make sure you are very careful not to prick your fingers. Make a hole in the centre where the two diagonal lines meet. Then make a hole in every second corner of the triangles, like we're doing here. Now it's time to join them all together onto the drawing pin. It can be a bit tricky, so take your time and watch your fingers. Once you've gathered all the pieces onto the drawing pin, simply stick it into the eraser of your pencil. Don't push it in too tight or it won't be able to move. On a windy day, you can see the pinwheel spin. If you have plenty of old newspapers, you can get busy with these creations. Why not create these newspaper rosettes? For this large rosette, we are going to use three pages of newspaper and we'll start by folding them in small sections like this until we reach the very end of the page. Then fold each section in half again. Place string under each fold and tie your three sections together. Then fan out the folds and use sticky tape to stick each end together to complete the circle. And just like that, you've turned some old newspaper into a winning rosette. You can create this bunting with some old newspaper, glue and string. Get your grown-up to cut your newspaper into triangles. Try and make them the same size. Then place a length of string down and start to fold the top edge of each triangle over the string, like this. Glue the edges down and leave to dry. Now all you need to do is find a place to hang your bunting. 